It might be chilly, but if you're looking for a taste of spring, check out the Spring Bulb Show in Northampton. Joining us to tell us more about it is Michael Marco Trigiano from the he's the director of the Smith College Botanic Garden. Right. Nice to have you here, Michael. Nice to be here. Tell us all about the Spring Bulb Show. What can we expect? Oh, lots of pink. <laughs> That's the theme this year. The theme is in the pink. So there's um, lots of pink bulbs, and then our students did a lot of decorating with uh, small pink bird houses and other things. And then uh, next week we'll have the Rays of Hope there oh. with their pink ribbons uh, supporting breast cancer research. How do you get them all to bloom at once? It, it's fascinating to see so many flowers in such a small spot. Yeah, it's really tricky. So they put the bulbs in a big like meat locker, which is a cooler, and then we have a schedule of pulling them out, but that doesn't always work pr properly. <laughs> so I have a conservatory manager who's done this for many years, and he can adjust things and move things to different greenhouses because we have nine greenhouses. But wow, it's that's working a lot of well. Work. Everything's yeah. everything's blooming from cherries to tulips. Wow, a lot goes into it though, and we're seeing photos of some of the gorgeous flowers, and I can only imagine the smell. It oh, must yeah. just be so fragrant and mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah, I think, you know, scent is underrated. It's part of the show. When the doors open up and people come in and you can just see them So the, the light smell up. and the colors, it mm -hmm. just is it's such a nice, it's like what we need right now. Oh, yeah. After this, is, this like, gloomy, mm -hmm. cold winter, mm -hmm. this is just such a nice, refreshing sight. Yep. And then people could head on into the Cactus and Palm House and get an 80 degree change you know. Can can we set up shop there with like you a bathing can. suit and sunblock and all that? <laughs> there are some people that stay in there until they, <laughs> until they thaw out. That's what I might do. Yeah. Uh, the so nice. theme, it, it is all about pink, but pink has a, an, an intriguing history that you're going to tell some stories about and you have some examples. I do. I'm, it turns out that pink wasn't associated with girls and blue with boys until after World War II. It actually was reversed before that and um, hmm. pink has been used, you know, in, in in horrible ways, pinkos in the war, but then uh, celebrating, you know, LGBT now mm -hmm. and uh, rays of hope and the breast cancer international symbol is pink. So pink is ubiquitous in culture, and we decided to do a liberal arts interpretation of pink in the Bulb Show. Very wow, cool. so it has a, a real history. And yeah, it's it does. interesting how it's not just because pink is gorgeous, but right. for so many other reasons. Right. So if people are interested in coming out, give us the dates and times. How can people get okay, involved? Okay, it's ongoing. It's been running for, for, since last week, but it ends on March 16th, and we're open at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., except for now on Friday, we've extended the hours to 8 p.m., which is really special because it's dark outside and we light up the greenhouses. Oh, and it gives that must be something. So nice. Yeah, it gives people that have to work during the day a chance to see it. So. That and then hang out gorgeous, in the cactus Michael. room. And then hang out. Yeah, we have to chase them out when it's <laughs> over. <laughs> I would say so. No one wants to go home. I'd bring my sleeping bag. Yep. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Michael. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Can't wait to check out that show. Still